Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to be a little quiet here. Um, so do a little sanctuary fire real quick. I already watched it. I was doing some other stuff. I let it run, you know. Sometimes you just got to walk away and come back. Well, this was a good run. I'm not going to lie. I was really surprised. I came back. I watched it again. Now I'm going to play it for you guys. Um, the team is two Angelica, Zakasi, Estol, Izanami, and Blair. Uh, Blair, we didn't put Sacred Vial on at this time. I think we did Thorn's Heart to up the damage. The Crystal's Attack Attack. Izanami's got Neutron Blades on her, of course, with HP and at or Speed and Attack, I should say, to make her faster. I think I forgot to make the Blair slower. So the Blair's got fast oh she got double because of cassie's speed thing that's what happened at the beginning of the fights sorry uh angie's had soul destruction i've tried wings of icarus on the one the one of the soul destruction actually did better than the wings of icarus which is surprising so next time we're just gonna do both soul destruction i was just testing some stuff out the yes still stayed alive this time so did the blair so that was great i thought the entire time i was just getting to round 10 watching it i was like they're gonna die they're gonna die they're gonna die they're gonna die and izanami did her job so well i was like I was just extremely ecstatic that the fact that Izanami kept getting the Petrifies off. But uh, without further ado, any more saying, guys, let's watch some Sanctuary damage. Ready? I got to pull the screen over. All right. So it starts off kind of the same. Uh, I believe somebody gets, a couple people get stunned, but I remember this time to put the petrify on instead of the cure for the Izanami. Other times I've kept forgetting to switch it from cure to petrify. So yeah. Uh, it looks kind of bleak at the beginning to me. And then as the fight gets on, it gets kind of like, are we going to do it? Are we going to get anywhere? Because like around three, I'm at a billion. I'm like, I think that's slow in my opinion, but it picked up. See, like, the Angelica got stunned. I was like, oh, no. But then the Angie's Petrify got it. And I was like, yes. The bottom one right there. It was, it was clutch. A lot of... And then after we got into, like, rounds, the later rounds, it, things got a lot easier, actually. It's kind of surprising. I should actually look at the... I was mostly looking at the Angie's this fight. I'm going to watch Estel this time with you, with you guys. Uh... 70 million. I know the. I saw some Blair hits were like 200 million. I think almost hit 300 million on one of them in the video. But, uh, oh, and I was using Kraken too, by the way. So maybe if we had Hunter and I switched it over, I haven't switched it over yet because I don't know if I want to switch over for, uh, Sky Island or not, but, and not care about UL this week, but I don't know. There was a couple times where Estel got really low on health that I was scared that she was going to die. Uh, that's later on a little bit, a couple rounds, but it's kind of weak. And I thought we might get to 10 billion because we were round eight at 5 billion, but I didn't. I didn't think we were going to go past that, essentially, if that makes sense. I'm not going to spoil it how much damage we did, but it was a decent amount. I was surprised. I was happy. It's been better than the other runs we've had, essentially. Only 99 million from you, Estel? Come on now. See, that was 154 from the Blair. 212 right there. So I, saw, I, saw, I think that's the one I saw. Cassie did decent. She wasn't that great on damage, I don't think, but she did okay. Angelica's definitely where the, the carrying the damage. Oh, wait, that was 261 and 293 for Estol on damage. Nice. Sometimes I feel like the basic attacks do more than the active. It's kind of weird. I just, like, don't understand. Sometimes I'll see the ba the active do, like, 50 million, and then I'll watch the basics do, like, 300. I'm like, what is that bullshit? Like, the buff on the active is more than the basic. But it's whatever. All right, so I lied. We did actually pretty good. <laughs> I just don't want to give it away. Some of you probably already got it. I probably did really good. Uh, when we got to 12 here and we were at like 10 billion, I was like, okay, we're close to the record. I don't have the record. I didn't have the record, but I have the record now. Someone else did. But I was like, okay, maybe if... This is where I was worried because the the burns are going to stack up because they're attacking, right? 
They still didn't have the LB5s triggered yet, so that was great. And then the fact that the Izanami got it on her uh, her pings off of the action to petrify right there, which is like 25% chance. Or we have Neutron Blades too, and then uh, Estel has the uh, impact to reduce control immunity on the boss. But, God, that was so clutch. See, it was only 190 million on an active. Oh, 162. This seems very underwhelming. That basically seems stronger than the active, which is weird. All right, well, we know the boss ain't doing anything now. So we're just letting the pings happen. Get the double hit from the dual blade. There we go. We get some more pings. There we go. And we hit... 14.637 billion damage, ladies and gentlemen. That is huge. Um, I didn't think I was ever going to get the high. I was when I came back to watch the, watch it over again, because I left, obviously, I was extremely surprised. And it still sucks, the fact that people, there are other people that do lots of damage. Yes, they're getting higher up in damage. Uh, like Some people doing 2 billion and stuff like that. They should be rewarded for doing that amount of damage as you're playing the game more. We should get rewarded for more sacred pages. I know some people watch this maybe like, I'm only doing 200 million, you know, I'm just starting out. It's like, that's, yeah, that's understandable. It's fine. But other people that have been playing for a while uh, that are hitting like 2 billion, 3 billion, and they're trying really hard to see how far they can push, they should be rewarded also for sacred pages on that. That might also give the, like, other people that are just starting out a reason to, like, try and push that damage on Sanctuary Boss. It could be a fun deal if they gave us more sacred pages. I don't know about you guys well, about that, but I think that would be more of a interesting way to push that. Uh, Let's look at the damage real quick. So the Angelica that had the Soul Destruction did more damage. The Angelica, other one underneath it, I put Wings of Icarus. It is not pink. It's just normal. I was just trying to test some things. I know someone's going to be like, oh, that doesn't work. You know, I got to test every now and then. Just, just try things, you know, to help, you know, just try it out. Uh, surprisingly, the Estel did more damage than the Blair. That really surprised me. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit really happy about that. Uh, Soul Destruction's on the Estel. Great on that. The Blair. It's Thorn's Heart, and I put Attack, Attack as the Crystal. But that's still really good damage for that. That's really, really good. Now, if, of course, if we had another... If we were able to replicate the DOT marks from the Estel, essentially, uh, and it would copy them, well, this would be a lot better because more of the burn bleed from her would stack up higher and her damage would get exponentially higher what you can see in sky island by the way on that uh uh not surprising that this army didn't really need damage just that's, that's not the point of her but the cassie did a decent amount of damage i think i maybe one time i got her to a billion so that seemed kind of average for cassie right there to get that done and as far as the heals go the blair is just healing herself for days that's just awesome. Like, she needs that to stay alive, though, because she could die at any second. If you've seen any of the previous videos um, or been for any of the streams when I do it on stream for this, for Sanctuary Boss, the Blair is probably the first one to die all the time. So this was very, this was amazing RNG, the fact that, that Izanami's pings kept petrifying the boss at such a low percentage rate it happens and uh, keeping that boss locked down so that the Blair and the Estel didn't die. Because they have the main problems of dying on the team was the Blair and the Estel. But the fact that they stayed alive just shows you that if you could keep the girls alive, uh, the two squishy ones, your damage will be really high. Of course, if I had two more Angelicas, I'd probably run that team instead, just from the damage numbers alone, or or maybe run a triple Angelica and uh, I should say, yeah, triple Angelica and a double Cassie and try that. That might be fun to try in the future because the uh, Angelica is obviously better at single target bosses than uh, Blair and Estel are. But uh, overall, this was this was pretty good fun. Uh, I was very surprised. All right, let me tell me what you think about this. Obviously, some people are just like, oh, yeah, it's cool, 14 billion. Da, da, da. But, like, what do you think about sacred pages being uh, bumped up? It's like, let's say you go by 650 million, you finally make it past that. Don't you think you should get rewarded for going past that and getting more damage? Like, what? tell me what you think about that. Like, do you think that you should be rewarded for going past that 650 million for sacred pages? I think you should. So just let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't forget to smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Or I should have said stay safe. It's a crazy world out there, right? Bye.